similar, but you got yeah. One, one thing is don't don't leave out this this e up here. A lot of folks you can get you get lost down in here, or you can capo it in a and play mm -hmm. out of the c position, but yeah. that's wimpy. I like to play out of the out of the open. Yeah. I really love if you go back to G position, go. I love. Yeah. I like that as a fill. I like that as backup. You can do about anything in the world if you can. All the all the little fill and backup and rhythm licks that are in that that first chord position. stuff yeah. in there. You can do every bit of that in the key of E2, whether right. you're down here or up here. Or in that, in that and then you can grab a B right here. Yeah, the so B7. That's stuff that people can leave out. So I like that big deep tone up here in B. Yeah. play a lot out of F and, and mm -hmm. I go back to Don Reno. Reno and Smiley had an old honky tonk hit called You're No Longer a Sweetheart of Mine. That's one of the first tunes I learned to play and, and enjoyed playing out of the key of F and find my way around on the neck and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but Reno and Smiley did that. We are saying goodbye, dear, forever. I'm leaving your false love behind. Every promise you made has been broken. You're no longer a sweetheart of mine. traditional grass, Mark Rader wrote a song we did in the early 90s that was uh, in the F. It was called Be True to Yourself, Little Darling. And it's, it's still in print, but I got to play that thing out of the key AF too. Mm -hmm. It makes you learn the neck. Yeah. types of closed chord mm -hmm. things. That's the Don Reno influence. I, the first time I was, after I was learning to play and I seen Don, uh, mm -hmm. Don the snot, Chuck Berry. You know, here playing that, uh, you know, not your Mary Mother. Mm -hmm. I can't do it the way he did it. But a few years later, we did one of their old Reno Smiley tunes called Pretending out of the key of D. Boy, that thing's just a blast. things that you can do with them. I've always enjoyed playing that, that stuff out of those positions. And that goes back to we'll go back to Key AF. Sonny Osborne was only 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Bobby and Sonny and Jimmy Martin teamed up and 
man, they started recording some uh, that honky tonk Jimmy Martin stuff in in about fifty four, five, six. I just loved it. And and Sonny, the first first place you hear uh, some of these backup licks that I have hung my hat on for thirty years. They recorded uh, 2020 Vision in uh, in like 50, uh, 54 or 5 for RCA. It was so daggone good. But simple stuff Sonny did on backup right there. You know, but, uh, I've been to the doctor, he says I'm alright. I know he's lying, I'm losing my sight. Those little things like that. First place we heard those things, and then uh, like '58, here comes Crow, mm -hmm. age 19, 20, playing with, with Martin, and they did Ocean of Diamonds, same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 All that stuff I want to learn from Sonny and JD, and you can you put a little Reno with it, and you can just get plumb nuts. <laughs> 